are your eights, this movie is going to be the big one. It's going to be about how to take footage you've filmed through on the camera and get it onto iMovie so you can edit. Now I've got my camera and I've connected two things to it. I have connected the power cord which I've plugged into a socket and turned on and I've connected the USB cable. Now right now as I speak to you I'm going to put the USB cable into the computer so it can connect. And you need to give it a second to register. What's appearing on the camera screen right now, it says, do you want to connect to a DVD burner or a PC? I'm selecting PC. And it's told me just then to keep the camera connected. And at the same time, this USB has just popped up on my screen. Now, if you have issues, if this doesn't pop up, it might be the cable that you're using. So what you want to do is uh, get a new one from a new camera set and switch it and see if that works. All right, once that's done, we can import the footage. So we open iMovie. Here it is. And it's got some stuff in there from when I was editing earlier. Um, and that's fine because you might have some projects going on. If you find that this isn't what you want to work with right now, you can go back to project library and you can press plus to start a new project. But I'm happy to work on this one for now. Okay. I want to import the footage. So I'm going to go up into iMovie, sorry, into file and import from camera. Now what might happen when I click on this is for some reason it might use the computer's camera to show a picture of my ugly face that I don't want to see. If that happens, what you'll have to do is go into iMovie and then choose quit, open it up again and do the same thing, file and import from camera. Let's see what happens this time. No, that's not what I want. So, I will press the X, I will quit iMovie, and then I will open it again. Whoop. Have a look what's happening. Now it took four times of me looking at my face before I could finally get this screen. So remember to be resilient and keep trying. Now this is all the footage that was on the camera. Some of it's not mine, and some of it is. And I don't want all of it. If you can see here, this was our hook screening. This was some of the footage that we took. Now, because I don't want all of it, I'm going to snick, switch over here to manual. And so I'm only going to tick the ones I want. They're all ticked right now. So I'll click uncheck. And I'll just say right now I want this one, this one, and this one. Okay. Now what I want is to import checked. Okay, call it whatever I want. Um, it's saving it onto this computer, this Mac. All right, so I'll call it my project and import. And it shouldn't take too long. See, done, done, and done. Beautiful. I can click done now. Now I've got those three clips. Now they're nothing that pretty. It's um, some floor, I can put my mouse along it and have a look, some floor and some chairs, nothing too exciting. But okay, pretend it is, pretend, oh that's perfect, that right there, that three seconds, that's the clip that I want. So all I have to do is click and drag and once I've got the section, oh hang on, that's not it, I'll change it, I'll make it a bit longer, that's fine. I can press space just like they've suggested to watch the section that I've saved. When I'm sure that that's the part I want, I can click and drag it into my movie. Whoops. There we go. Lovely. Now you can see that my songs also continued here. Whoop. There we go. Now this is my whole song right here. And let's just say I don't want all of it. Let's say I actually just want it to stop after my fire clip so I can start looking at my beautiful clips of some chairs. You've actually just got to say where you want it to end. Now in this case, I'm going to move it all the way up. See, that's two minutes. I only want, whoop, you can see that it changed up here. So that it tells me the music's going to stop right there. So I'll move it down. Bit more, bit more, 
Lovely. Okay, so you can see now the music's going to stop just when my clip stops. So I can click done. And I might also like to fade it out. So I can click that I want it to fade out. Okay, it's going to do that over half a second. If you think that's too abrupt, you can make it um, tune out slowly over a full second or two. Completely up to you. The other thing I could have done is I could have actually allowed the music to go all the way through but turned it down so it was really quiet. Maybe I wanted to hear someone speaking in this clip. Okay, that's fine too. Lovely. Now, I might be interviewing someone here and I want you to know exactly who they are. So what I can do is I can click any one of these text options and I want it to look just like a real documentary. So usually they have it down on the side. So I might have this one. There we go. And I might have it come up, I'll give a few seconds in, and then I'll have it come up there. Beautiful. And the name of the person I'm interviewing is, you know, Mr. Smith, and he's a CFS member. Okay, you might have something like that. Uh, you also might be interested in transitioning. So as well as we have the sound fade out from this one, we might want a picture trade in, uh, fade in, okay? So here you've got some options when you click choose this icon right here. We might do a cross dissolve. What that means is it'll actually fade from the fire, this picture, into the new picture. Um, but I can also choose fade from black. So right now I'm going to try this one. Put it in right here. Okay, lovely. Now, let's have a look at what I've just made. We'll start all the way over here. I don't like this. I can hear fire, but I can't hear music, and I want to hear music, so I'm going to press this button just here. Audio adjustments. I'm going to turn my volume up. Okay? Now let's try it from here. I can get my laptop. Beautiful. Now you notice that the sound on my new clip, it was really harsh and it was really loud compared to the music beforehand. So what I would do is I'd click on the cog. The first thing I want to do is go to audio adjustments. I want to fade in and I want to turn the volume down. Okay, remember that you're having a play. So let's just go back here and press play. I can get my laptop. Now, that's not perfect, and your editor or your director, every member of the team is going to want to play with it a little to find what they want. That's fine. You're encouraged to do that. Now, these are just some basic ones. Keep in mind that the only reason I've got this footage and this music here at the moment is that I've kept it on my desktop. So for you, the editor would have signed into the same computer, would have saved it here on their desktop, on a USB, and on the master drive. Now the great thing about iMovie though is I don't need to worry about pressing save. I can just press the X because I need to quickly rush out to lunch. Come back later, click on iMovie and everything should be there. As long as I'm coming back to the same computer and the same person is logging in and I'm leaving the stuff that I've used right here. Open it up. Takes a second to load. And there is everything back for me to fiddle with. Now remember, you're encouraged to play around, have a fiddle. Just make sure that you are backing up your work so you're not losing anything you consider especially important. So other than that, happy editing.